In our series of interviews about people's jobs, we're delighted to welcome Jane Brown, who works in the food industry. Hi. Now, I know you studied home economics at Longley University, Jane. Why did you go there? Well, some of my friends also studied home economics, and they wanted me to go to the same university as them rather than to Longley. If I'd done that, I could have shared a flat with them. That would have been fun, but being closer to home really appealed to me and made getting used to being a student that bit easier. And did you enjoy the course? I loved it. I've always been interested in food chemistry, so that's what I specialised in. The class sizes were small, so the staff knew us all by name and all about us. I'd always enjoyed working with other people, and I did a lot of that on the course. The university also made sure we had plenty of opportunities to get out of the classroom and apply things we'd learnt in theory to real life. I suppose you also learned about things like food tasting. A group of us would all have to taste the same dish and try to decide if the general public would like it. As the training got more complex, it became harder to agree, and there were even conflicts and tense moments. We had really long arguments about flavours, but it was worth it in the end. And what was your first job after university? I worked for a large food company in the sauces team, testing out new recipes and making sure the quality of the sauces they produced was consistent. When I applied, I knew I could do it, and it was really a step along the way to something more interesting. But there were a lot of applicants, and the food industry isn't always an easy one to get into, so I was very aware of how lucky I was. Is there anything you particularly remember about that first job? Yes. I assisted in the development of a new product, a delicious cheese sauce. It was very different at first to be making decisions on my own and doing things without the support of the people I'd studied with for three years. But I coped pretty well, I think. The team I was in managed to reduce the salt content of the cheese sauce while keeping it tasty, which wasn't straightforward. And then, of course, it was great to see it on supermarket shelves. Yeah, it must have been exciting. Mm. So what did you do next? Well, that first company sent me to work in Denmark for two years. That was really interesting. Part of my job involved visiting local food companies, and that way I met lots of people I'm still in touch with, who've helped me and taught me loads. And on a personal level, it was great to discover a new country and culture, as well as a whole new food culture. Out of all the different things you mentioned, Jane, there must be some things you enjoy more than others. There are lots of different things I have to do. For example, I have to interview clients to find out about and understand what they need. I taste food to assess its quality, rather a lot of that, which actually isn't always that great when the food gets really unusual. And then there are reports to write, which some people hate, but I never mind. And lots of other things, too, so every day is different. I really think I have a fantastic job and would certainly recommend it to anyone who's interested in food and how it's produced. Thanks very much, Jane. That's been really interesting. Now you'll hear part four again. That's the end of part four. There will now be a pause of five minutes for you to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. Be sure to follow the numbering of all the questions. I'll remind you when there's one minute left so that you are sure to finish in time.
You have one more minute left. That's the end of the test. Please stop now. Your supervisor will now collect all the question papers and answer sheets.